Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and here's a new headline from Crypto News Flash. Ripple completes investment in SBI's money tap to become largest external shareholder. Now, to me as an XRP holder, I, I, I suppose the most uh, important thing about this to me has to do with the fact that money tap will be using XRP, and it wasn't even mentioned in this article, but I will share with you exactly how I know that. It's not, uh, it's not a, I think it will use XRP. It has been declared, and it seems like most people, uh, certainly in the media, are just blissfully unaware of this. And it's kind of important. Now, to be fair, of course, when this was initially announced, MoneyTab was announced however many years ago, I actually don't recall off the top of my head. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, it, it, it was made out to be something, you know, that would, that would just, it would be an app, so it would be for, you know, end users, uh, that would help money move around domestically in Japan, specifically. So this would be a Japanese app called MoneyTap. Uh, but it turns out that their aspirations for MoneyTap are, are much greater than that. And with the utilization of XRP ultimately uh, coming on down the pike, that means that they're, they're, they're planning to use this app for international transfers, uh, utilizing XRP as a bridge currency. And it's it's just it's just fascinating how this is all getting built out here, and that certainly represents true utility. Now, uh, I do want to be clear that I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. Um, I just think it's fun to talk about these things purely as an enthusiast, and I run this channel on the YouTubes because it is my most favoriteest hobby that I've ever had. But that is all that it is. And so just keep in mind, if you're like, should I take something Moon Lambo said it as, as, as advice? The answer is no, but just remind yourself that it's a guy on the internet named Moon Lambo who may or may not be wearing pants. You don't know if I'm wearing pants, and I don't know, maybe I'll divulge that at some point in the future. There's a chance I may not be wearing pants, though. I'm, I'm just saying. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to make some sort of monetary decision, it's a bad move. Just don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this piece now. Japanese financial giant SBI Holdings has further expanded its partnership with Ripple. The company announced today that Ripple Labs has completed the investment as a shareholder in SBI subsidiary MoneyTap Co. Ltd. This makes Ripple the largest external shareholder of MoneyTap, with 33%. And so, you know, it's 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 probably reasonably arguably, arguably so that Ripple's tightest relationship out of all the relationships, if I had to name one off the top of my head other than MoneyGram, it'd be SBI. And maybe SBI functionally is more important, actually, because there's so much going on behind the scenes. And so maybe, like, you know, I'm in the United States, a little over half my audience is. And so maybe, uh, you know, maybe you would have said MoneyGram is Ripple's most important partner, period, and which happens to be a customer. And that might just be because we got the name recognition, but I, I think that there's probably a case to be made that SBI would be a, an even more important partner. And uh, for, for a number of reasons I'm not, I've talked about on the channel, I'm not going to get into in this video, but that's my humble opinion. But uh, the piece continues. In addition, MoneyTap will acquire two senior executive uh, executives from Ripple, Emi Yoshikawa and Eric Van Miltenberg. As part of the announcement, SBI Holdings said of Ripple Labs' investment in MoneyTap the following. So this is a quote. Uh, we will promote the realization of low cost accelerate the development of new functions and services by welcoming Ripple, a developer of core technologies and a partner of SBI Holdings, as a new shareholder in addition to the existing shareholders of 38 companies, including many regional financial institutions. And also it's worth pointing out, so they talked about two senior executives uh, coming on board from Ripple. They're still working at Ripple, though, just to be clear. Uh, I, I did verify that. Uh, just, so this will be in addition to that. So uh, extra workload. Hopefully it came with a pay increase. <laughs> anyway, and then you got this uh, little subheading in the article. Japan as a game changer for Ripple. SBI Holdings is a Series C investor in Ripple and arguably its most important partner in Asia. The connection between the two companies goes so far that Yoshitaka Katao, CEO of SBI Holdings, is also a board member at Ripple. Uh, MoneyTap is building a next generation financial infrastructure between individuals, financial institutions, and businesses based on RippleNet. How about that? Ripple's at the core of everything. And you know what's at the core of Ripple and RippleNet? 
on-demand liquidity and what's at the core of on-demand liquidity is XRP. Everything that, that Ripple does is always with XRP, if not at the heart of it, with it in mind. And because XRP is absolutely crucial to Ripple's uh, core business model, which is why I've always found it comical when people are talking about, oh my God, X Ripple's got so much XRP and they could just dump on people. This and I'm like, they, they have... <laughs> The largest stake in XRP, which means they have the most to lose. You think they want to ruin that market? It could be a healthy market for decades or perhaps hundreds of years and beyond. And you think they want to they want to just throw that away? In what world does that possibly make any sort of logical sense? But you know what the Bitcoin maxi types, eh, you know they're a bunch of unsophisticated, knuckle dragging, mouth breathing troglodytes with cashew sized brains. Staying warm by the dumpster fire under the bridge, eating room temperature cottage cheese, which is their favorite food. Don't make no damn sense to a moon lambo, but that's what they do. <sighs> anyway. So anyway, the uh, the application launched in uh, in fall of 2018 with three banks and uh, will gradually be rolled out to the Japanese banking consortium led by SBI Ripple Asia, consisting of 61 banks covering more than 80% of all banking assets in Japan, according to an earlier announcement, uh, SBI announced today that in addition to the three banks currently connected, three new banks will be established in February. The number of affiliated banks is expected to increase to 20 by the end of the year. So indeed, it is getting built out, but all of these things obviously uh, take, take time. And so how do I know that XRP is going to be used within this? Well, when the news broke, there were a handful of articles that covered it, but not as many as you would think. And so it's it's actually kind of hard to find these articles. I had to put in a bunch of different keywords. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, my somebody out there is like, yeah, I remember the first time I used the internet. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Well, <laughs> I had to put a bunch of different keywords to finally find an article. And this is the first one that popped up. It's from my fellow XRP YouTuber, Alex Cobb's website, the XRP Daily. And uh, this piece is dated uh, September 5th, 2019. And uh, the title of the piece is SBI CEO, quote, we will use the virtual currency XRP for remittance. And so we got some, uh, some very good clarity, actually. Check out this piece. This morning, valued XRP community member uh, Crypto Eddie posted two very bullish quotes from SBI CEO Yoshitaka Katao. He is also on the board of directors at Ripple. Yesterday, Yoshitaka Katao was a speaker at the FinSum 2019 conference in Tokyo, Japan. You can see the website here, which clearly shows that SBI CEO was a lead speaker at this conference. Now, the thing is, the language being spoken is Japanese, so that is where we are relying on Crypto Eddie's translation to get these quotes. And keep in mind that she is a very reliable source for all sorts of Ripple and XRP information from Japan because she lives there and is bilingual. So the source is valid. And uh, for those of you that are unaware, Crypto Eddie is another XRP YouTuber. I'm sure, I, I certainly suspect in a way that most of you are probably aware of that because I think that our audiences have, not surprisingly, a lot of overlap. And so here's a tweet from Crypto Eddie on September 4th, 2019. Mr. Katao Finsum yesterday, quote, we will use the virtual currency XRP for remittance and we are focusing on making money tap into the group's flagship product. We are going to have various relationships with Ripple in the US and this alliance is very significant, more incoming video. And it gets even more clear in just a moment, I'm going to cover it, but I do want to say, like, part of the reason I understand that this is so substantial is that in order for this, this to work functionally, XRP to be used at the core of money tap, you need market makers, and so XRP has to be be held somewhere. And so if you're already in the business of making money on the trading, like if you're a cryptocurrency exchange, it'd be part of your business model anyway. Like you're making money there, but it's it's nowhere uh, near as expensive as the the current Nostra Vostra system where, you know, banks are holding each other's money effectively. It's substantially better. And so understand that as market makers must hold this to make it happen, it makes XRP more scarce. And that's one thing that I personally believe I mean, supply and demand dynamics is one thing I believe will be a factor in the price action of XRP. Uh, you know, assuming there continues to be global adoption, that would be to the to the positive side of things, right? But um, let me move down a little bit. Uh, she also states that uh, there will be even more information on this in her upcoming video on her YouTube channel. What I want to know is if Yoshitaka Katao was referring to money tap with that first statement, because 
Um, and yeah, and you can see right here, I'll just read the actual tweet, the September 5th, 2019 from Alex Cobb. Is he saying that MoneyTap will use XRP because that is eventually going to have 61 banks live on it? And then CryptoEdy responded and wrote, Hi, Alex. He is saying as a first tier public company on Tokyo Exchange, Blue Chip, XRP will be utilized in MoneyTap. Not all the banks in the consortium are strong in cross-border remittances, but also he announced Ripple will become shareholder in MoneyTap, which, as you can see, full circle, right? Do you see how, you like how I plotted out the video? Look what I did there. That's so super smart of me. Cool stuff, though. So look, despite all the scariness that's uh, going on in the, the world of XRP with the SEC and Ripple, I remain nothing but confident, and uh, it's, not, it's not just like euphoric, idiotic, you know, complacency or happiness or anything like along those lines. It's based on my continued research because look, I don't have some sort of emotional attachment to XRP. If I thought this was going to go down, if I really did, I would just sell off my XRP and buy other stuff because I got to tell you, there's so much opportunity, especially with alt season, like ramping up here, even if whether or not you want to say it started fine, whatever. I don't know what the litmus test is for that, but uh, suffice it to say, there's, there's so many opportunities. If I really didn't think that there was an opportunity or I'd just move my money, which is not me offering financial advice. I'm just sharing with you the way that I'm looking at this in my opinion because I, I find it fun to talk about this stuff. But I genuinely could not be more optimistic for the future. I just I just don't see this all getting lit on fire thanks to what's uh, happened with the SEC and then just going away forever. Ripple the company and XRP just gone, poof, from the planet after, you know, XRP existing on open markets for about eight years now. I just... And it's not a security. Like it, it just isn't. So we shall see. But I will wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.